be the first of its kind in the whole country. A company turning raw materials like lithium into things like batteries and magnets is coming to Stillwater and bringing more than 100 high paying jobs with it. News 4's Nick Camper was in Stillwater for the big announcement. This facility is projected to offer over 100 jobs when it is up and running. The governor says it will make Oklahoma not only competitive within the United States, but against countries like China. We're 100 percent reliant upon other countries for these for these products. The United States' dependency on China's minerals will soon end. Next year, USA Rare Earth plans to open the first rare minerals manufacturing plant in the country which will help limit the supply chain problems for key components of 5G communication, wind turbines, and military aircraft. USA Rare Earth also converts minerals like lithium and beryllium into batteries for electric cars and solar panels. The company's vision is to fuel the green tech revolution. News 4 asked Governor Stitt if this conflicted with his stance on the oil and gas industry. Well, I don't like the question that we're just trying to protect oil and gas because I don't know who wrote that for you, uh, but that's not simply not true. Both the governor and the president of USA Rare Earth say it doesn't need to be an either or competition. This project will bring in over 100 high paying jobs. And these jobs have a median that's 42 percent uh, above the salary of the average of uh, the county wage. And the governor says it keeps Oklahoma at the top of mind for businesses looking for a home. And I'm optimistic that we will continue to get other companies like USA Rare Earth and um, the Project Ocean and, and some of those other, the other things across the finish line. In Stillwater, Nick Camper, Oklahoma's News 4.